Okay. I think everything's good. So off stream, I found out how to get all this stuff. I bought all the masks, got the other outfits. They look really good. Very blue. And I completed most of the decks. Like it was just evolving and then reading Cleffa and doing like uh, trades for Cramorant and Gligar. All the other stuff I could get in Terra Raids, which is what I did. Uh, I think I need one more Basque Legion, so I may do one of those if I see him. Need a male Basque Legion, though. All right, so on. So yeah, I'm at 199 out of 200. Pretty sure everybody knows which one I need left. The dex entry for, or the dex completion in this was fairly easy. Need 196. Let's start. <clears throat> so let's start that story little arc. Rain is hot. Bryn the photographer. Use an ogre pond. Go oh, Armor Rouge. Armor Cannon. Boom. Good old Mega Buster. Here's something, all right. I got a bunch of good shots in action to you, too. I think you just might have what it takes to hold your uh, hold your own against the Blood Moon Beast. Yeah, it's certain Ursa Luna I've been searching for. It's known as the Blood Moon Beast. It sounds like it would be a paradox Pokemon, honestly. Have you heard of uh, of Ursa Luna? Word is is uh, word is they weren't all that common long long ago, long time ago. The Ursaluna is a Pokemon that usually has big yellow mark on its forehead, resembling a full moon. But this one has a one. Blah. They say this one's mark is red, a red moon. 
as if you've seen a veil of blood. That's why they call it the Blood Moon Beast. This Ursa Luna, the Blood Moon Beast, used to live in my homeland way back when people still called the region Hisui. Sweet, she's referencing Hisui. Seems like it crossed over waters here and Takeda Kami at some point and made itself comfy. If two of us work together, I bet we could find the ones, be the ones to find, finally find and snap a shot of it. And if we do, kiddo, no, not kiddo, partner, let's tackle it together so we can find the Blood Moon Beast for sure. Let's do it. And then find Blood Moon Beast. I knew you'd be up for it. Don't worry, I'll be sure to reward your hard work. Word is the Blood Moon Beast has been seen in the, in an area northeast of Oni Mountain called Timeless Woods. I'll head there. I'll head that way now. Wait for you there. I wonder if she's an ancestor of the leader of Team. Uh, Diamond, I guess. The Diamond Clan or whatever it was. It's nice that they are referencing that too. Dance TM. Oh, my God. I may do a shiny hunt after this. Maybe. Taking a picture of a polywhirl. Right around this part of the forest where people have supposedly seen the Blood Moon Beast. Seriously, all sightings have been at on nights with heavy fog. That's a cool picture. In fact, I've heard all kinds of unusual Pokemon appear on foggy nights. I'm sure that the Blood Moon Beast is one of them. Gotta be. What was that? My little cutie pie back for another photo shoot.
This is a static encounter. Actually, I want to catch it. Can I catch it? I'm wondering if I can. Toxic Thread. Oh my god, that's kind of broken. Blows me down and poisons? That's like... Uh, toxic plus... Uh, spider web. That's kind of broken. Can't take a picture while she's sitting down. I don't know why. Let's see if I can catch it. It's caught. That's a static encounter. Ow. Yeah, that really surprised me. Click. My camera's okay, though. Thanks, partner. And thanks to you, of course. Feel a bit bad for that Aria dose. Probably wasn't expecting to see humans out here. I caught it. Wonder if it gets a mark, too, for being a static encounter. Oh, a shaman tent. That's cool. No Pokemon has a mark. What about this crew? This one does. Sociable. Only one does. That's Mian Chao. Oh, wait, I gotta heal my Pokemon. Alright. I think the first Pokemon I'm gonna shiny hunt is Yanma, because Yanma is one of my favorite. Er, Yan Mega is one of my favorite Gen 4 Evos.
All right, looks like we're gonna be f uh, taking pictures of Pokemon until fog comes around. All right, and species. In survey. Get those photos. Okay. playing Pokemon Snap. I hope she says wonderful. That would make this the survey uh, mission so worth it. Litwick. That's a Geo dude. Boy, the range is not good on these cameras. And there's no zoom. Skull it disappeared and reappeared. One, three more different Pokemon.
I already have Sudowoodo. Oh, there's a C dot up there. Two more. One more, and not Sudowoodo. I think I see something at the water. There we go. Ten. Please say wonderful. So if we compile the photos we took, like photo, you. We've photo uh, photographed every Pokemon known in the forest when it's foggy. We did it. We pulled it off. I can't tell you how much I appreciate this. And we send all our data to the Pokemon searcher. And... Wonderful. Wait, I guess it's supposed to take a bit for the data all to process, be uh, processed or whatever. You know, the photos you took were all real good, partner. You've got an eye for this. So, Spill, what were you thinking about most when you were taking the, those photos? Uh, I was hoping that you would say wonderful. Just like Professor Oak. You weren't thinking about it, huh? Or anything, huh? I guess you're just capturing the world around you with its natural instincts of its born artist. Of a born artist. God, she's so hot. Even a kid knows what a slump is, right? Like when nothing seems to go right for you. You might not believe it, but when I was younger, I was laud as a photographer prodigy. Everyone loved my photos, absolutely everyone. But in these past few years, I feel like I've lost my spark and my photos show it. They lack heart. The awards have all dried up, the accolades too. The longer it keeps dragging on, the more I lose sight of what it is I even want to capture with my photos. That's when I heard the stories about the Blood Moon Beast. I left for Kitakami as fast as I could. I thought that if I could just get a photo of an astounding Pokemon like that, then maybe, just maybe, something inside me would change. That's rough. That's rough, huh? That's all you got? You're not very good at comforting thing, kid. Oh man, they killed me. Uh, I'm a kid. This machine's done doing its thing, but that jingle, I'm pretty sure it's the same one my dryer plays when I'm done with my with a load. Oh, good to know she, she can do her laundry. Anyway, we filtered out all the out all our data. Looks like it's still one hit out there in the foggy woods. That'd be the Blood Moon bis a Beast. We finally found it. Yeah, that's it. You know, talking to you really helped me throw some of my that old tension. Blah, blah, blah. Whatever. I think I'm ready to go meet the Blood Moon Beast. How about you, partner? Ready? Yeah. 
Yes, then we're off. Finding a time for me to capture the Blood Moon Beast on film. That's it. If things start to look dicey, I'll be counting on you to handle the battling, partner. Okay. You too, of course, Growlithe. Now then, let's get going. That hit we got of the Pokemon Searcher came from somewhere around here. Ah, it's awfully quiet. Got it. And those foot footsteps, whatever's making them, must be huge. Dude, he looks cool. Looks like a Frankenstein, honestly, but looks cool. Got the red moon on its forehead. It's the blood moon beast. It's, it's real. We actually found it. Wah. Kawa. Right, my camera. Now just be a good little beast and stay right there. I'll snap a photo. Wah. Sorry, the auto flash just. Rallith, you ready? Sounds like a no. How about you, partner? Over here, big guy. I am capturing you. This is great. I'm right up close to the action. Keep keep it going while I snap its side. Blood moon. Ivy Cudgel. Oh, that's a new expression. This is wonderful. There's so much good stuff to capture. This is like a special attacker? Blood Moon Beast is weak. Now's your chance to catch it, partner. Huh. For whatever reason, I thought it was going to be two battles to catch him. Turned out it was just one. Alright, Blood Moon Beast. Ursa Luna. Nope. Mind's Eye. This Pokemon, the Pokemon ignores, changes the opponent's evasiveness, accuracy can't be lowered, and 
It, it can hit ghost types with normal and fighting moves. Hmm. It's a special attacker. Well, at least I can use a physical and a special attacking Ursula Luna. And now, everything, I got all of it. Didn't think you would go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Blood Moon Beast, let alone catch it. That was amazing. Absolutely amazing. Wow, wow. Growlith. You've got a lot of... You've got to work on those nerves a bit, bud. Nope, you killed him. My heart is still beating a mile a minute. What a thrill. I couldn't just stop snapping shots of you battling the Blood Moon Beast. I bet you want to give your Pokemon a chance to rest and recover, huh? Let's head back to the camp for now. So for whatever reason, I thought it would be two battles with Blood Moon Beast. Like, first battle to, to with the big health bar, and then a second one where I catch it. Like, she takes her photos, and then she's like, uh, we gotta go after it, blah, 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 catch it. Blah, 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 and then battle it again. Could have done this. I couldn't have done this without you, partner. Because of you, I finally feel like I have some photos here that I want to keep forever. It's been ages since I felt this way, seriously. And now that I'm all motivated, it's time to ride this feeling and seize the day. I'm heading back to the village for this instant to get these photos developed. As we always say in my family, time wasted is time lost. I'm not wasting time, or I'm not wasting any more time. Cool. Oh. Let's meet again in Masui. Alright. Well, I've caught every Pokemon in the Teal Mask. And the stream wasn't, it hasn't been that long. Like half an hour in. I'll probably do a shiny hunt or two. Okay. Um, whoops. Oh, look at that. I completed it. Congratulations on completing the Hidekami Pokedex. Sweet. Got 200 out of 200. Alright, let's go meet with Jack. He should still be here. Hello, hello, Kurosaki. Looks like you've caught 200 kinds of Pokemon that can be found around the land of Kitakami. Wait, you're telling me you caught them all? Wow, that... Wow, wow. A completed Kitakami Pokedex. This is great. No, you're great. Thanks to you, to your all your hard work, I don't think there's anything more to be done when it comes to surveying the Pokemon that live here in Kitakami. I really wish I had something to give you to commit commemorate your all your effort. Oh I know. I'll give you this charm that I got at Kitakami's Hall. It's a limited edition souvenir they only sell here. 
or there. Obtained the glimmering charm. You put a glimmering charm in your bag's key pocket. What does that do? Glimmering charm. Having one of these mysterious glimmering charms increases the number of terror shards you receive from terror raid battles. That's very valuable. Because, uh, changing terror raids is the hard part. Now I can grind for, uh, terror raids more quickly now. That's kind of worth it. I was hoping it would be like like a marking charm where it increases the chances of finding a marked Pokemon. Oh, and I can see... Oh, can you show me your Rotom phone for a second? Thanks to, thanks to the diploma feature Director Clavel helped with, we can celebrate your achievement. In style, Kurosaki. See? You can get this special message from the company that certifies Pokedex completion. Oh, that's cool. Look at that diploma. I still have the picture from the other the other diploma I got from the base game. You may you may have completed the Pokedex, but that doesn't mean your school trip has to end. Hope you keep meeting lots and lots of new Pokemon and friends around Kitakami. I think we met everybody, except for the Pokemon battles. Alright. Are we going to do some shiny hunts? I hate that it's still nighttime. It's like Minecraft. Nighttime is just all it is. Okay. Um Meet with Perrin. This uh this fine looking woman. I'm drooling under my mask, by the way. I've been waiting for you to come by, partner. I managed to develop the photos of the blood, uh, the photos I took of the Blood Moon Beast. Show me. Well, the fact that once, the fact is that once I got them all printed, I could see the photos that I managed to get are all blurry and cut. Okay. Well, you're you're a terrible photographer then. Okay. Wait. You never knew my name? I know your name's Perrin. I looked at your Instagram. Choice scarf. That's it. Oh, Growla too. Eh, kind of a little late for that. Uh, their paths might cross again someday, so you raise that one care with care in the meantime. I wonder if she's gonna be at Blueberry Academy in the Indigo Disc.
So... Okay, so... Is there anything to do with the Area Zero in this DLC? Because... Miss Briar mentioned it in like two instances and yet I have not had anything where it tells me to go there. Oh, let me change mask. Maybe outfits too. Nope. Flashy. All sparkly. Uh, the white one, I'll probably have on half the time. Put on a different mask. Uh, Okie doji. There we go. Oof. Okay. I feel like we should check out Area Zero, Zero, because they they mentioned it a couple times, and the DLC is air, like areas of air, like treasures of Area Zero or something. Isn't that what it is? Like I feel like it needs to be, like there has to be something there. Uh, these, these gloves, I mean, they're a cool design, but the texture just makes it really ugly. Not gonna lie. Um, no nighttime. I feel like I should check the Area Zero crap. Like, it's weird that they mention it but not have anything to do with it. Like, it's called. The, like, the DLC bundle is called, uh, Treasures of Area Zero, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's called the Hidden Treasures of Area Zero, and yet, this DLC had nothing to do with it. Doesn't make sense to me. Alright, I want to look up Blood Moon. Oh.
All right, let's see what the stats are. Okay, yeah, I was right. It's a special attacker through and through. A bulky one at that. Special defense is pretty bad though. Which I feel like giving him assault vest would probably be the best thing. Let's see what Okay, that's a special attack. All mine might be the best thing for it. See what else I can it can learn. Moonlight? Special moon oh it can learn moon blast? That's pretty good. Well, pretty sure just giving it moon blast is good enough. Uh, maybe see what else they can learn. They can learn vacuum wave. Would we give it give it a special uh, priority move? Focus blast would be a good fighting type move to give it. So I think you're right, you know. I, uh, Earth power. Hyper voice is a good special attack move. Mud shot, swift, snarl. That actually might be good. I mean, you can do the rest snore combo, but that seems like it would be kind of annoying. I might give it Vacuum Wave, actually. The toss-up between Vacuum Wave and Focus Blast. If I go the Assault Route, or Assault Vest Route. Other things I can probably do is... Uh, I could give it counter because it can probably survive one hit. And I could give it Terra Blast, which I can make it any type. And give it Terra Blast, which thinking of giving it Ghost Terra, honestly, I think Ghost Terra might be better. Oh, well, he gave me a good nature one, too. Golly. Well, I'm not going to use him, but I will use this. Alright, this has been a good DLC. It's better than I thought, that's for sure. I mean, if I had to rate it out of 10, I'd say it's a uh, 7, I think. 7 might be a good, good rating for it. I got a feeling the next DLC will be supremely better. Rescue Legion? Nope. Okay. Okay, I kind of want a shiny hunt for Yanma.
Actually, I'm doing that one. I do have a list of Pokemon I want to shiny hunt for. I do want to wait until it's daytime so that way I can see the Pokemon. This day night cycle thing is BS. Like it's nighttime way more often than it is daytime. Levani is an ice type. That's. I might make a Diplin build too. Chime Echo Dragon type. That's funny. Mosfell Confluence. Ian is a poison type. Victory Bell. Um, let's check over here and then I'll... I'm just seeing if there's a Basque Legion uh, Terror Raid. I kind of want to just skip the whole evolving process if possible I mean I have a female Basque Legion that I caught in a terror raid ba battle nope okay Bullaby. Mise. Wish the fishing mechanic came back. Oh, it like up here. Fairy. I could ghost shiny hunt over here. By the looks of it. 
There it is. Here's a Basque Legion. I don't mind the Terra Raid type because, uh, um, I can change the Terra type, honestly. Okay, poison. Hopefully, it's a male. Alright, hopefully, I can get people to join. You know, I wish you can get more than Blood Moon, like more than one Blood Moon Beast. That would be great. It can be a, you, they can limit it to like one a day. That would be fine, right? Like you'd have to wait like 24 hours game server time to catch another one like you can't just time skip to get it mail I can't tell oh no it's female yeah it's fine Hopefully he doesn't kill me with water move. Hit me with a ghost type. That's all I ask. Or that. Oh, that's fine. Hopefully he doesn't kill me. May have to do a heal cheer in case. Oh, never mind. Oh, that will kill me. Didn't know I had liquidation.
It's already raining. Dummy. Ooh, that might kill me. Almost. Oh my god. This will end it. I'll catch it anyway. Even though I don't really need a female one. <gasps> uh me and the mask, it's funny. It's funny because it makes it look like it's a derpy face. Oh snap, look at that. 10 rare Terra Rage Shards for poison. Not gonna lie, I'm okay with this event going away. Please. That's a good tower raid. Grab yourself a uh, ghost type Snorlax. No troll. Oh, it's daytime. Thank God. Wait. And miss here too. Yeah, screw it. Let's, uh... Let's shiny hunt here. Alright. Look through. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with flying? Oh, look at that team. Tuto or cherry tomato. Tomato, I have seventeen of. Go a prosciutto. Hopefully I don't mess up the sandwich. I remember I saw a video of somebody doing it correctly, but like the ingredients glitched through the bread, which messed up their sandwich. Like it was as if they missed. I thought that was messed up. Wasted their shiny sandwich.
we got? I believe this is bug. No flying. All right. I believe Yanmas are blue. The reason I went with goes this spot is because of the water. Should be easier to spot. Pretty sure Yanmas are blue. Probably check that like real quick. Yeah, Yanmas are blue. I, I like doubted myself for a second. So if I see a blue dragonfly, we caught it. Okay. It seems like it would be an easy shiny hunt. This is just just seems like it's only there's only animas here. Which is what I want. And uh Yanmas were shiny Yanma are a completely different color. It is making the game lag a bit. Great when it's only one Pokemon jumping in in the spawn. The only hard part would be, or at least heart wrenching part, would be if uh, Yan, uh, a blue Yanma was off in the distance and it flew out of bounds would probably be the hard part
It's only been five minutes. Form of bugs. The game all laggy. Uh, a lot of them, but none of them are dropping. None of the blue ones are dropping. If they are, I, I didn't see it. Maybe the picnic method would help. If I'd do it, I'd have to do it over here. Across the bridge. Oh, oh, oh. Out of the way. Try the picnic method. This doesn't seem faster. You just have to hit like each high point. Yeah, a lot more show up when you're not when you're just moving around. It's also causing my game to lag. Okay. 
Oh, I thought I saw one. Just hitting up high points, all dirt mounds and hills. That way I get a better view. Uh, I can't see any. Just a field of, of red. Oh, that's right, there's a cave here. Come on, shiny Yanma, Yan go yourself. Knowing my luck, it it showed up and disappeared at all. The camera was not panned on him. Ugh, boy. Taking too long. Go up. Oh, Blue Yanma. Where can you be? Almost halfway, this timer. Oh, 
Oh, come on. Show up. I hope none of them disappeared. I would be slightly disappointed in myself. I a shiny go. I mean, I have shinies that are supposed to be in a certain box in a certain uh, PC operating thing. Less uh, halfway done. Some of these with glowing eyes throw me off.
whole lot of nothing. Red and greens. Hmm. Nothing. About seven minutes left. Hopefully this uh, order work. No blue. No blue. Um, Eating a jello cup, jello cup while I'm doing that. How's it going, Donovan? I'm just shiny hunting a uh, Yanma, but nothing's popping up. I finished the DLC and completed the Pokedex, and uh, now I'm just. Killing a little bit of time by doing like a one shiny hunt. Hope I didn't blow my shiny hunt on eggs that I'm still breeding out. That's not it. Oh boy. Just a sea of red. Alright, 
if it works and red red and red and I was hoping to change if I looked up. Got about three minutes left. Right? Man, this is this is kind of annoying. I don't remember shiny hunting being this long. Look at my Okie Doji mask. All right, brushed, and just see red. Wait, is that, no. Get my hopes up. It again. Red, 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 red. Trying to find the blue Yanma. Being difficult to find. Oh, what? I still had twenty. Two seconds, you jerks. Well, let's make another. There you go. Uh, 
I may have to go get some food. Or, like, make myself a little snack. Not refreshing. What? This during the day? That's stupid. Let's try the bus stop. This is why I hate this day-night cycle. Just wasted herba. Oops. You have Feebas and it's Evo? Yes, I do. Did you need him? I don't really care for Feebas and my low tick right now. I can always get a my low tick for from a terror raid. And there's the Feebas. Did I catch that? Like I did. Need it for the decks? Okay. Well, I wasted Urba, so... And I gotta wait for daytime. So if you want, I can trade you it. Um... Let me see what I have for Terror Raid Battles real quick.
nothing special. Okay. Um. Seven 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 zero zero zero. I can give you both. I really don't care. Either I don't need them either. Either way, so. Uh, You can have them. Just send me anything, any crap. Just uh, put in the link code right there. I know I didn't need, like, I was trying to complete the decks, and I just, I just did terror raids, honestly. Just give me anything, anything you don't care for. I'm not missing any. I have, I have a hundred percent it. In fact, I got my little, uh, degree thing for recently, so. Like, an hour ago, I think. My Pokedex completion thing. And it looks like you don't have Clefable or Macargo either. But those are probably easy. Yet. And for people who don't know, you can get the the starters, the Paldea starters, in a Great Ball and an Ultra Ball, thanks to Pokemon Go. The little, little thing you didn't know. Looks like a small Milotic. Oh, I don't. I ever. I don't need the the Quaxleys, honestly. Uh, did you need more? By the way, is it looks like you have four Pokemon that you don't have. Okay. But you can get those in Terror Raids, so it's all good. Uh, no problem. That was... this is tempting, but... I'll pass on it. Yeah, it it's really easy to get everything else. Like besides the legendary and the the Blood Moon Pokemon. Um everything can be pretty much obtained through the map or the raids, air raids. Like honestly, I was too like I'm kinda too lazy to to evolve Basculin into Basculegion. Yeah, see? It, everything's obtainable. It, it's like easily obtainable. Um, I, I hate nighttime in this game. It ate pretty much my... Uh, Herba. Now I can find a shiny Hoot Hoot. 
or Noctowl. That way it's not a complete waste. Or at least hope it's not going to be a complete waste. It was the only thing I can think of to not waste, uh... Well, that's a lot of low tads. Uh, to not waste it. Is APM violet only? Yes, it is. But again, you can get it in terror raids as well. Uh, the two violet only are APOM, Ambipom, and Morpeko. Those are the violet only Pokemon. I mean, I got Gligar in, which is a Scarlet only Pokemon. Uh, I got Gligar through the raids, so I'm pretty sure you can get Apom and Ambipom in air raids. Just, just gotta keep refreshing. Oh, that, that bound to happen. I'll type it out for you. There we go. Typed out for you. Yeah, the the ads are pretty bad right now. They're so intrusive. Like, they're heavily pushing you to get Twitch Turbo. Heavily. That might be an understatement. I just realized, I don't know what shiny Hutu to look like. It's yellow, okay. That's hopefully that's easy to be spotted. Light brown and then yellow for shiny. I mean, shiny Noctowl is easy to spot because of uh, because it has red wings. It's yellow and red. Got the McDonald's colors going on. I'm so mad at McDonald's though. At least my local McDonald's, because uh, I always order two McDoubles and a large fry, and they keep forgetting the large fry, and I can't really check the bag because they seal it with that receipt sticker thing. And they just toss me it and pretty much kick me out of the place. And they've done it like four times already. And the last time I went, I ordered a Happy Meal, try to get the Pokemon cards. They gave me a Sonic toy. And I got extremely pissed. Macargo, Cleffa, 
Clefairy, Basque Legion, Blood Moon Beast, uh, Big Bird, and Monkey. Oh, well, for those legendaries, uh, they're in the same spot as you found them the first time. If that helps. They're in the exact same spot. Um, Blood Moon Beast, it has its own story on storyline to it. Probably be the last Pokemon you get, honestly. I did it earlier in the stream. Uh, Macargo is easy to get. Cleffa, you probably have to breed for Cleffa, which is probably not hard. Uh, Basque Legion is a terror raid only, I think. Oh, uh, f there is, uh, I don't know how to explain it, but I do remember you went through this, like, convoluted cave where it's pretty much just at the bottom. Like, it has, like, a bunch of inner bridge, inner bridge stuff. It's, it's that cave, and you just go to the bottom. I like drop down to the bottom of it. Let's see. Uh, hopefully the ad doesn't cover the cover it. But I think the cave you're looking for is somewhere like over here, and then you just drop down to the bottom. It'll look like it has like a bunch of bridges and ledges. You just drop down to the bottom and follow it. Hopefully the ad didn't kill it. Yeah, hopefully the ad didn't kill your answer there. Oh, look at that. Shiny. Woo! Shiny Oricorio. This ghost type? It is. Put you in. Because uh, if it if it does, I might... Might be a problem. That might be a problem. Um... Don't know what that means. Oh my god, he almost murdered me. Um, I have I have this Pokemon with me for false swipe because it can hit ghost. And that's important. I debated on uh, catching like a bunch of uh, or breeding a bunch of uh, breeding a bunch of uh, Rowlets and hope with the hidden ability just so we can though I can evolve them fuck beat the story early this morning so if you have to wait a day to battle the bird that might be an is my issue no actually I didn't I just went back to the spot.
Uh, I caught it. Sweet. Shiny Ori Corio. Uh, oh, not an item to hold. Oh, might as well show my, uh, tiny box. I'm running out of room. But yes, all these are shiny. Uh, that curly I had a... Does this have a mark? If it has a mark. It does not. One does, though. Sociable. Dawn. Ooh. Did not know this had that. that. I caught this one in the... In the, like, early DLC story. So I drove by, or, like, I was... Strolling by, and I saw a blue rock rough. This was a DLC catch. This was a DLC catch. Um, I think this one was a DLC catch. I was strolling around looking for a Levani, and then I saw this. Yeah, it like. Yeah, I, like, this one was accident, and the rock rough was accident. Like, all these were, all the ones I found were, this one, this one, and this one were accidents. I still have ten minutes. Oh, that's menacing. Uh... The hoot hoot might be hard to find. Because it's supposedly yellow. And it's hard to tell in the dark. It could look brown. For whatever reason, I thought the ghost Ori Corio was going to be black. With blue accents. Or purple. Blue or purple accents. But. Hey, I'm not complaining. Yeah, exactly. That's that, that's the thing. Like, uh, Ori Corio was like the first one I actually had the sandwich power. It was just the shiny charm, and I caught three of them during the story. No, I feel like it. The yellow should be more noticeable. But sometimes it's hard to tell when it's nighttime. I was trying to get a TM, but I needed a spear tomb fragments. Uh, so I went to one of the spawns, and there it was. Yeah. Uh, I was looking for Levani, because I didn't want to do the whole uh, happiness thing. Because uh, Swadaloon... Uh, in order to evolve it into Levani, you need to have its happiness up, and I was like, that's going to take forever. So I was searching for a Levani, and uh, that's how I found the rock, uh, not the rock rough. Um, that's how I found the Ralts. And then I found rock rough early on in the story. Like, I think I was going to one of the signs. And then, boom, there's a rock rough. And, uh... I think Stantler I just found because I was just roaming around looking for terror raids. 
Well, at least this sandwich was not a complete waste. I got a shiny Ori Corio. So that's that's something. I just used berries. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh Yeah, I was just Stantler was just I was just rolling around. Kinda like this, but no sandwich active. Oh, the monkey's right here, by the way. Like, uh, for catching it, you fought him here, and he reappears here, by the way. Uh, I would do it just for the Gligar, honestly. I don't know if you have Scarlet, but yeah, I would do it just for the a Gligar shiny hunt, honestly. And I don't remember the sandwich recipes for co-op. How much do I have left? Five and a half minutes? Uh, maybe after the timer shows up, uh, I'll show you how to get to... Uh, to the bird. Okay, yeah, I would do it just for the Scarlet, honestly. Like, I'll join your world just to shiny hunt for the Gligar. His Gligar is one of my favorites. Like, I remembered in Pokemon Crystal, he was just so cute and and cool looking. Uh, Gligar is ground and flying, but I remember just. Gligar being one of my favorite Gen 2 Pokemon. And then when Gen 4 gave him a, an evolution, that was just even better. And then he kept getting better with like hidden abilities and stuff like that. Like Poison Heal? Heck yeah. Give it a Toxic Orb. And then uh, the moveset I used for Gly or Gliscor was... Uh, earthquake, acrobatics, bling, uh, and I forget what the last move was. Might have been protect, but yeah, just turn one protect or earthquake, depending on the situation. Then I'd fling, and then I'd use acrobatics, and then. Sweep a team. Yeah, I I don't remember the co-op sandwich recipe though. Or we could just do the the regular sandwich way. It's just each of us would have to give up an herba. I think that's how it works. Oh, my time's up. Nope. Well, it's practically up. Pet a little showed up. Yeah, I mean, there's a Twitch channel I follow to grind out Herbas, Herba Mystica, called, uh, let's see if I, uh, real quick. I would suggest following Rockets Black Market, because they do, it's a, raid bot thing and they they do uh like raids based off of what items you can get and i always go for sweet and 
salty herbas. Plus, they also have raids for uh, pretty much every item you need, honestly. Two minutes. Can I find another shiny in two minutes? But yeah, that that's kind of what I do to grind out for stuff. Watch me just fly by as shiny without knowing it. In a minute and a half. There it is. That's two. That's two shinies. Uh, what recipe do you use? Uh, tomato, green, uh, I have a, I wrote it down in a book. See. For flying, the main, uh, ingredient is prosciutto. can't kill itself. Alright. I was hoping to get a Utu shiny, but I'm not going to complain. That's two Ori Corios. I can just change the, 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 the style of Ori Corio. Oh, oh, grounded. Oh, good God, go away. All right, so I'll show you where to get the bird legendary. So I start here. I have like more than 20 of each herbas. I think the only one we can't combine is uh, like Sour and something. The red and yellow one we can't combine. I know that. So, okay, so start from crystal pools, make your way down here, go to the right. Gotta check this real quick. Need the LP. Um, go down here, that's the Terra Lampant, down the, the ladders, alright, this cave you start, here, Chilling Waterhead is what it's called. This is the way to the bird. See, it's all this convoluted stuff down in the cave. Just go all the way down it. Jump all the way down. There's a goomy nasal down here, and then out this cave could be the bird. Hard to find it on a map, so that's why it's just easier to follow the cave. That's kind of how you get there. I hope that helped. Hopefully an ad didn't ruin that.
Ghost Golem. Don't need that. Daytime, or at least close to it. Birdier. I have no sandwich active right now. A palm. I think a palms are pink. Like bright pink. You found the bird? Like, is it there? Is, uh... I can see how people would get lost in it. That's not the stream lagging, that's my game. I wish they fixed the game, though. Yeah, yeah. That's the bird. That way you have all three. Oh, prism scale. I did not know you can find them. That's cool. I thought you were just... You had to, like, buy them or get them off a of Pokemon. Like, thief them off a of Pokemon. Wanna... What's funny is, is like, I could not find Ducklet for the life of me. And then I just stroll up on like 50 of them. Like, Ducklet was one of the few last ones I found. Yeah, it's going to spam Roost. Um, he has five of them, so... Uh, I just keep false swiping. Yolo. Mise fluid sounds really bad. I collected this one already. Yeah, I have. I can't tell if, if Rabombi is shiny or not. Then again, I don't really care for Rabombi. A lot of sparkly items in the way. All right, let's see if there's a Basque Legion in here.
Nope. He, uh... I grind out those herbas. I'm pretty sure sour and spicy can't be combined. I think that's the only ones that can't combined. But any of the other two can. These ones are the more valuable ones. Because they're used for egg breeding. Funny that there's fresh water in the spring. I'm gonna drop their water bottle. I wanna make a comp like a build for just uh this polywhirl. Not for polywrath or Holly Toad, just Holly Whirl. Holly Whirl looks it is like way cooler than the other than it's at Evos. Okay. Don't care about cutie fly. Cutie fly sucks, as far as I know. Don't at me, bro. First time obtaining Roar. catching that bird again unless it's shiny because that was annoying yeah yeah but it only has like five uh roost that's it and then all once you fall swipe it to like do a good amount all it's gonna do is swagger ladder and roost beat up does very little to it
Like, it did very little to my Pokemon, because it's meant for... It's a team battle one. Okay, um... Let me get... There. Noctel uh, travel service. Funny. Alright. Look at the Pokemon Center. It's like a it's like it's at swap meet. Up Nurse Joy looking all ghetto. He knows what's up. All right, whatever the group code is, put it in chat. I highly doubt they would join in like three minutes or or however many minutes. So here's a sandwich plan. I use tomato, onion, prosciutto, and one salty herba. Use one green bell pepper, avocado, prosciutto, and one salty. I can do that. Oh, you look too ordinary. Where's your mask? Photos taken by while using the union circle can be shared among the group. Shared photos are viewable the participating members. Okay. Did not know that was a thing. You're not getting into the heel mask uh, party here. I don't know where should we fly to. I don't know where he, I don't know where Gligar is in the game. Like I don't know where he's located for Scarlet players. Baron Paradise. If I'm not mistaken, both our Pokemon, like both version exclusive stuff should be able to. Okay. Oh, wow. Craziness. Sandwich. Okay, I guess. But all right. I use Green Bell Avo. Ito.
one salty. All right, got mine. I guess we put up The only thing I'm like worried about is uh like messing up the sandwich while it's uh online. I did like a co-op thing with my other switch because I had to find I wanted to find like paradox Pokemon couldn't find any by the way um, so um, it I, I I kept messing up because of this the lag between the online or the connections so it was just really weird search around. Uh, who gets the first shiny, by the way? I mean, you can have the first. Doesn't matter. I've drifted too far away. Whoever finds it? Okay, that sounds fair. There's a good chance that we we'll might might just find a shiny bombardier. I didn't want to do that. Dang it. God dang it. <laughs> well, at the very least, I'll just catch one at least. One natural catch for me. That's pretty much what I'm doing here. That way it has my own trainer ID, not... and not like a random person's. There we go. That was a button.
No! I'm birdier. Why? At this point, I don't even want a shiny version of you. Not spawning. They're like despawning for me. I don't know why. Cerule Edge is not killing anything. Okay, never mind. What are you doing? Man, it's just bombardiers here. What is up with that? I don't see Galagars. Oh, there's one. spawned on me. About seven minutes into this, uh, sandwich. I didn't want to fight you. Come on. Oh my god. And it's raining, so that adds more lag. Game needs to be fixed. Yep, see, it disappeared. Oh.
Boy, I can't really find any Gligars. Just Bombardiers for me. And even if I do find a Bombardier, they despawn. They just dis despawned. I hope it doesn't. I hope, like, the Pokemon are showing up for you. See Gligars. Must be a be a better area, right? Oh, there's a shiny. Shiny bombardier. It's not quite a Gligar, but I got one. Oh, don't be stubborn. No. Get in the ball. Great catch. Woo! If there's another Bombardier, I'll let you have it. Cause, uh, I don't need to. Kill it, he's. At least the rain ended. That was causing serious lag. Tell him, take him out. Many bombardiers.
Thank God. Get him. moment more Gligars showed up. I wonder if there's a better place to shiny hunt Gligars. Cause I got a feeling we're gonna find more Bombardiers than Gligars. halfway done or I'm up oh I like spawning and despawning About four, less than 14 minutes. There's no Gligars over there. There's Ori Corios and and Hootoots.
I can't do it. Okay. Um, how much have we got time left? A little bit of 12 minutes. I feel like there's another place to do this for Gligars. Okay, guess not. Are there Glygars in this area? I just see Hoot Hoots. Choreos. Hmm. Further research is probably needed. YouTube video about shiny hunting. Oh boy, it's a lot more laggy.
There's more bombardiers. Oh, there's a Gligar. That's one. Maybe you need a ground type for this particular area. Expansive cave. Oh, there's a... Oh, burning jealousy. Nope. Nothing special here. Yeah, maybe you need to use ground for this particular area. No, I think we did the right one for Baron. I think it's just wrong for this particular area. I'm gonna try a different spot at the Paradise Barrens. So maybe that'll help a little bit. space. Hmm. An ortho worm here, that's not good. Shit, Glagger. Basque Legion. I have one here. I don't know if you have time for a Basque Legion. I think I'm just going to roam around for the Gligar. Killing him or not really helping much. type. I'll pretty much one shot it, or two shot it at least.
Maybe after the Basque Legion you can head out because uh, it'll probably take about three minutes and that's how much the sandwich is left. Hopefully this is a male one, I think. I need a male one. It's female. Oh well, I can still... It's fine, I guess. Yeah, I, I know the... How to do it. I know, I know the... The routine. You screech while I belly drum and then uh, screech again and then I drain punch it to death. Like so. Did it get rid of my stats? I don't I don't remember. It did. There we go. Basque Legion is defeated. <laughs> uh, my face before I catch him. Is, is always funny with a mask on. Just hilarious. Got a sour herba. And a capsule. And my glimmer charm is working out pretty well. Good, you caught it. All right, um, I'm going to leave the, the group. Pretty sure you have to go. Pro 
I'm probably gonna end the stream myself, just cause, uh, I gotta get up early in the morning for work. But yeah, that was fun. I got a shiny out of our co-op. So that's, that's cool. I got a shiny. <laughs> I only noticed that because he wears very little red. And I got myself a natural Blagar. Uh, yeah, that was fun. Yeah, I'm gonna try to. I'm not, I can't promise anything on that because. Uh, work is usually physically exhausting, so half the time I pass out right when I get home. Well, not right when I get home, but like, after I eat dinner, I just sometimes just pass out from exhaustion, so. Today I didn't. That's why I streamed. So. Yeah, we'll try it again later. Whoa, shiny. I thought this was a... Uh... Hey, look at that. Shiny Geodude. Have a good night, Dustin. Well, that's a failed shiny. That's unfortunate. At first I thought that Geodude was a Sandshrew. Because it looked... Because it was standing next to Shan Sandshrews. Well, okay. Alright, I'm gonna head out for the night. So, thanks for watching, everybody. And I'm gonna head out.